Okay, folks, uh, here's a quick and dirty on uh, how to remove the uh, race face turbine cranks. I got this uh, question from uh, some of you and I thought I would uh, throw a video together. When it comes to removing the crank, what you have to pay attention to is, to is the dry side here, which is a bit different from what Shimano does, which uh, has this uh, dry side fixed and you actually work on the opposite side. In this case, what I want you to pay attention to is this area here, right in, uh, in the center. So what you see here is, uh, this is called the uh, X-type uh, crank, and they call it the uh, one key release system, in which all you need to remove the crank is really an eight uh, millimeter Allen key. So you just insert it in and undo it. However, many of you might be tempted to use a 10 millimeter Allen key, and if you use this, you can remove this cap. The way this works, and you can see here a little washer, and you might want to open it up just to clean it, put a bit of grease on it, and then put it back on. What's going to happen is, as you undo the 8mm bolt, it's going to push against this and just pull your cranks out. Put this on, nice and snug. <sighs> Whew, that was tight. So this is going to loosen up a bit, just kind of... Uh, freely and then when it gets to this cap it's gonna get harder again but it gets harder this time because you're actually starting to pull out the cranks it's out so here it is and as you would do with any other cranks use something like a rubber mallet and you push this guy out and here we go what you would do is just try to feel your bearings and make sure they run smoothly. This is the bottom bracket, the press fit bottom bracket. Um, this is the Shimano DB71-41. Uh, there's not much you can do to a bottom bracket like this. Some people remove these caps and you can pull them out. This, this is all plastic and the bearings are underneath. Uh, I've done it once, I don't know if I would do it again. Uh, I can, as you can see, my uh, bearings are nicely greased and they're moving freely. Uh, that's the drive side. The opposite side is no different than this. So I'm going to just uh, wipe it clean. So with all the bits and pieces cleaned up, and you can see them here, this is my axle and the drive side crank arm. Um, pay special attention to these areas here and also make sure you apply a bit of uh, good uh, quality waterproof grease. Same thing here, uh, make sure you clean it thoroughly and apply a bit of grease. There is a rubbery edge on both sides here that would provide a bit of a seal between this and the bottom bracket cups. Uh, however, like I mentioned, I also apply a bit of grease over there. And uh, this is your cap. And uh, you also have a little washer here. As you can see here, applied a generous amount of uh, grease on the spindle teeth. And I also applied some over here on this the, the thread. Orient the cranks properly, as you would expect, the opposite of one another. And here I am. I'm ready to reinsert the eight millimeter bolt. I have the wa I have the washer right here. Race face recommends tightening this, this up to about 60, 61 uh, newton meters. Um, if you have um, a torque wrench, use it. If not, tighten this quite a bit, as you see me do here. And this should be pretty close to that 60, I think. Here we go. That is my, this is actually set up for 50, not to 60. I think it's plenty. Make sure you have nice free movement of your cranks, and I do. Again, because this button bottoms out, uh, there is no unnecessary uh, side pressure on your bearings, on the bottom bracket bearings, and uh, you're good to go. Final uh, step here would be to reinstall your cap. Make sure you tighten this up so you don't lose it. For next time, you need to remove the, uh, the cranks, and you're pretty much done. Hope you guys found this uh, useful. If you have any questions, let me know below, and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep an eye on my channel. I'll see you next time.